We just made this giant ace game room casino wall art genuine faux metal. And we'll show you how we did it right now. What is up? Welcome back. Do you like to do it, build it, or make it? Great, that's what we do on this channel every week. What is our project this week, Kim? Well, let me check my handy notebook that our friends over at Do It made for us using their laser cutter. It's pretty sweet. You should check out their channel, dude. They do some really cool stuff. We are making wall art for our game room. We are. Our friends Chris and Brooke gave us an item that made us create a game room. Yeah. Right, we don't have a game room. But well, we have a dining room that's empty. <laughs> So the dining room is turning into the game room. And because we make a game room, we need some game room art. So Kim was flipping through Pinterest again and found this really cool. Really cool. This really cool spade. But that spade was $400. Not a chance I'm going to pay $400 for a piece of wall art. <laughs> so we're going to try to make it ourselves. So we picked up a couple of shiplap boards from Lowe's. We already had them pre-stained. We got some MDF. We're gonna cut it out on the X-carve, that's gonna be our spade. And we got some one by two inch trim and some neat corner brackets. I'll show you those when we assemble it. Yeah, we pick those up in the construction area. Step one, make all the cuts. <laughs> <laughs> we cut up the boards, I cut them to 36 inches long. And because our brackets have a little rounded edge to them, I rounded the edge. <laughs> Step two. We're gonna cut out our spade. We're gonna take this piece of MDF down to the down to the CNC machine, and we're gonna cut out a spade that I found on the internet. Step three, we're gonna paint our design, our brackets, our screws. Everything is getting like a coat of soft, flat iron. Step four, assemble it. <laughs> Bring it all together. Everything's painted, looking great. Let's try not to scratch it, but we're putting it all together. All right, we're gonna lay our shiplap down. First, we're gonna lay down these little plywood backing things that we're gonna nail into. Um, and I'm gonna tack it in place with a three quarter inch bread. The nail, not the guy. All right, we're gonna put the frame on now. All right, we spray painted these construction brackets and we're gonna put them on the inside of the frame. All right, we spray painted these bolts that we have to pre-drill some holes.
All right, looking good. Some of the nails came through the back while I was popping them through and waiting for the glue to dry. So I'm just gonna give them a little whack. Good as new. All right. And then we need the air compressor up here. <laughs> All right, I think we're gonna squirt some glue up underneath the frame. See, we have that little board. We have that little board back there. I right, can't lift it. Let's uh, uh, see that little board. We're gonna squirt some glue up on there and uh, let that dry while we put the design on. All right, we'll get the design. Look at this. Oh, here we go. This is the design. Check it out. Check it out. Looking good, huh? Man, that thing. Uh, I'd never be able to cut this out by hand. That's crazy. Yeah, I think maybe we do the little pieces. Next. Okay. All right. Blue them if you got them. All right, looks good, but looks I think great. I think we're gonna have to hit a few of these pieces with a tiny brad because the ship lap is not even and not flat, so, so the glue is gonna hold in some places, but not all. These teeny tiny brads. That's good. That's good. That it's attached with that right there. We'll have some holes to fill. I think we'll just hit them with some... You have nail polish that color? No, I don't have flat iron nail polish. What? <laughs> we'll just hit it with the spray paint. <laughs> Everything seems dry and in place. This is where something pops off of my Right, hand. that's what I was just thinking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna paint over all those little nail holes that same soft iron. Just gonna squirt it in my cup. Ooh, just need a touch. A little scooch. Oh my good. Oh. Then I'm gonna use a Sharpie to get all those nail pops when I did it from the underside. Looking good. All right, I think we're done. You know what I do with the cap this? Yes. All right, you guys ready to see what we got? Uh, uh. Of course it's heavy, just like always. All right, that's what we got. Can you guys even see the whole thing? Here, let me kick it out a little bit. Uh. Check it out, yeah, all right. It looks so good. Looking pretty good. Now we're supposed to put this in the game room. But, uh... Yeah, he's already said he wants to put it behind us. <laughs> Maybe it goes behind us. You guys let us know if you think we should put it in our game room or you want to see it every week sitting behind us. At least for a little while. Yeah, because I think I want to see it sitting behind us. Leave a comment. Let us know. <laughs> Alright, well, let's go hang it in the game room for now. But you should comment a lot about hanging it behind us. What? All right, high five, Mickey, high five me. Out. <laughs>
It's heavy. It's real heavy. Ugh. If you liked today's video, leave us a comment down below. Tell us what you liked. If you have a suggestion for something else we should make, we're always looking for new ideas. Let us know that as well. Give us a like and a share, and we'll see you again next week. We'll see you guys next week. I don't know why I have to add anything. Why? Two sit. Every time. Two sit. <laughs> I'm like your parrot. <laughs>